Why, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome, one and all, for another Q&A. In spirits of celebrating me hitting 500 subscribers. I never thought I would ever get to this far, especially so fast. I think I hit 200 subscribers right at the end of last year, and that was... Six six months ago, and I somehow got 300 more of you fuckers to come around here. I don't know how I did that, to be completely honest. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it has been absolutely a pleasure to make content for you guys. Uh, I think little baby Phoenix would be looking at us, well me, and saying, well first off, like, why are you still alive? But all, and then like the second question is like, damn, how the fuck did we do that? And does this mean I gotta do it for- <laughs> Which is a yes, it was a yes. <laughs> so once we're this Q&A and whatnot, I got the liberty of asking you guys what questions you guys have that you guys want answered and whatnot. So I have the whole thing of, of questions. Uh, this is mainly gonna come from Discord, which by the way, you should join if you haven't already. But uh, these are mainly come from Discord. We have one person that uh, did put their little suggestion of a comment in the YouTube one. Which I really appreciate it. And then their questions will be on screen. So, <laughs> so that way you guys can visibly see who said it and all that stuff. So, so without further ado, let's get into it. What is your favorite video game? <laughs> my absolute favorite game, which will always say it because it's my childhood favorite game, is Pokemon Black and White. Specifically, Pokemon Black 2. Because it's the, it's the Pokemon thing that really got me into Pokemon. I love that the way that they continue the story from the first game. You got to see all the characters that you got to like meet across your journey, either like traveling with you or like gym leaders. You would see them like evolve to bigger and better things. Seeing new gym leaders, seeing the retired ones and what happened in between those two years and whatnot. It's very pretty cool. And there's this cool air like thing that they do with the DS where they um where you can sync up your old save file with the new one so you can get like memory cutscenes and all that so you can see what happened in between which i think is pretty cool and then your character's name from the first game gets brought up by n oh it's so beautiful i highly recommend that game no matter what it's very expensive now so i recommend an emulator <laughs> is the bird the word <laughs> it is the word and i'm the bird <laughs> how did your obsession with vox start Honestly, I don't know myself. I was like looking back on everything and I could not find a pinpoint of why it happened. Like he's an he was an interesting character in the pilot. Don't get me wrong and whatnot. His character design was pretty cool and whatnot, but the problem was you like, especially with all the V's, you didn't really see them do anything besides just sit in a room and whatnot. And then unless you read some of the uh like the the chapters, which I think technically now are not canon anymore, of like the this like the 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 manga pan what the fuck the, the comics made of Alistair and Angel Dust and whatnot you don't see them really do anything and whatnot until the actual season one of Has Been Dropped and you got to really see his character and I was like I get it baby I get it and I saw a bunch of edits too so that kind of cemented it for me I was like I'm doomed I'm I'm into TV man I, there's nothing I can do about it what future games are you playing to stream or post on YouTube Right now, the, um, for at least, like, YouTube series and whatnot, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is definitely gonna be one of them that's gonna pop up. I do wanna do remakes of some of the old LPs I did, like Mario Galaxy, Luigi Galaxy. I never finished Luigi Galaxy, I'm just realizing. I probably should do that, huh? <laughs> then there's Super Paper Mario, which I love that game. It's my favorite Wii game. Uh, but there's also other ones that I want to do, like, the whole Paper Mario series, basically, except for Sticker Star. We're never gonna play Sticker Star ever, you cannot convince me to play Sticker Star, alright? And then there's the whole Ace Attorney ones, which, uh, Cameron was nice enough to give me the trilogy, so not only does it have Ace Attorney, but it has, like, the two games that come after Ace Attorney as well. I don't know if I'll play, like, the Miles Edgeworth ones, because I think the second game is only in Japanese, and I don't know if there's any, like, official translation, or if that will ever be made, so... <laughs> As for, like, games to play on stream, I mean, we still have Pikmin content to go through. I, there's still a lot of spooky games I can play. I still have, I only got through FNAF 1 and 2 so far, so. And then there's the whole Five Days of Strangers series that we can go through. I don't know if I'll ever play Poppy's Playtime. Don't ask. 
There's, but there's a lot. There's a lot that we could do. Remember in the beginnings, how do you feel about how you, far you've come? It feels unreal, <laughs> if that makes sense. This channel started off in 2017, if that gives you a perspective of how long I've been, like, doing this. I wasn't very active back in the day. I wasn't, like, posting like I do now, which is, like, every day except for Wednesday, which is now changing <laughs> and whatnot. I'm just trying to feed the algorithm. That's all I'm doing right now. I think, I think I'd be proud of myself. And, uh, I've, honestly, I've learned a lot now compared to what I did before. Because I used to just record on my phone and upload the straight footage from there and whatnot. So, I definitely come a long way. <laughs> Why the whole face thing? Okay, that's become a meme now with streaming, is uh, anytime I show my face, someone's like, oh my god, face reveal? But um, I know there's gonna be opportunities for me later on with the whole YouTube thing, like with sponsorships and getting, like, if I ever get that popular, then I'll get sponsorships, I'll get, like, phone out to places, and I'm gonna have to show my face at some point. Also, it makes it easier for when I film the Vizzy Pop merch videos and me, like, sitting down and, like, opening the packages, you guys get to see me do face-to-face -face stuff. And honestly, I... It's, I'm, you just see my stupid little face and whatnot. I don't want to do cosplay stuff, but I can't really do that when, <laughs> when I can't do the whole face thing anyway, so. I just have it in the butt, if that makes sense. It's not that big of a deal. Do you plan to do more with your channel? Very much so. I mean, that's the whole reason why the Wednesday slot was empty for so long, because I wanted to do something with it, but I know I always have two games running and then Wattpad Book Club on Tuesdays and Thursdays and all that. So Wednesdays give me the opportunity to do funny things, so I'm, I have a group of editors, which is just Elf and Sage working on stuff, where it's compilations and, and, the, and the merch videos as well that comes out for you guys and all that, so as for different, like, more stuff, it's I definitely want to try getting like little baby animations now. Especially for some of the funny moments that are said in like Wattpad Book Club or any of the, like the gaming stuff that I've done or anything on stream. So there's a lot planned for Wednesday. I will not get into it all. Unless you're a paid member. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but it, I mean, it's future plans for later on down the line. <laughs> what fandoms or communities am I in? I'm in a lot. I'm in the Busy Pop fandom, which is technically has been in Hell of a Boss. Technically, also. Zoophobia one, which no one remembers anymore. <laughs> There's also the whole SG4 fandom that I'm into and whatnot. I'm very much into Pokemon still. I'm very much a fig fan. I'm now considering myself a Pikmin fan. Thank you, Elf, <laughs> for getting me into that shit. But that's pretty much like the main ones that I can think of right now. So there's your answer. <laughs> What is the most memorable Wattpad book club reading you've done, and which one do you regret the most? Right now, I, the one that I love the most, that I keep revisiting whenever I need a good laugh, is me reading a Zosan fanfiction with Coda. We had a lot of funny moments during that, it was a lot of fun to read with them. That's where the whole aromantic tea comes from and whatnot. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a aromic tea, but we read it as aromantic because it has the same spelling, so that that led to a lot of funny moments. Maybe that would be animated, of like like a little animation, who knows. My least, my, my, the one I regret the most is the one that I recorded with Gummy. No hate to Gummy, it's just the book that we picked up was god-awful. Not like the writing was bad or anything, it's just the con, like the, the subject of like, sewer slide and like, was in there a lot and it was very repetitive so we had to keep skipping parts because it would just like kill us inside and they were like let's skip to the end and see what happens and we just end up like killing ourselves and it wasn't very fun <laughs> so that's that's probably the one i regret the most are you going to do any irl videos soon like baking cooking vlogs or anything of that nature i want to start doing irl vlogs and whatnot of like cool things. I'm working on the convention one, which when I say I'm working on it, someone else is gonna be working on it. Thanks, Elf. <laughs> but I would love to do cooking and whatnot, but I would, for stuff like that, I definitely need my own house for because I live in the house that is technically a shared space and uh, I don't have the equipment to just set up in the, in the kitchen and not be bothered by dogs, people, and other things that just happen. So, there's that. <laughs> so once I get at my own place, then we'll start doing IRL stuff like that. 
and whatnot. I definitely want to do more cosplay stuff because that is, was a lot of fun. Are you planning on ascending to VTuberhood or will you stay a PNG tuber forever? Probably gonna stick with PNG and whatnot. I, I like it. It's just a little, a little guy that sits in the corner that you see open its mouth and whatnot. I can't afford to go into the whole V thing. Maybe if I pay Heisen, maybe he'll do it and whatnot. But like, I, I like my little guy. Just a little image in the corner and then I get to customize it however I want through Gummy. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. What makes TV men attractive? I don't know. <laughs> it just happened like that. I don't have an exclamation for it. It just did. It's not my fault that I find Mr. Puzzles and Vox very attractive. That's not my problem. No peeps? I have plenty of peeps right now. I haven't been eating them that much, but I have five packets of peeps over there next to my desk. How much Arizona do you consume on a daily basis? I at least drink like a cupful in one. I mean, this was a full cup today and whatnot, so. I approve. <laughs> Are you excited for anything in the future for your YouTube channel? Yeah, I would say so and whatnot. I feel like there's gonna be better opportunities for me. I wanna definitely collab with way more people and whatnot. I, I can see the channel going into good directions and whatnot. As long as it's cool, I'm curious of how you met Heisen and Jinji. Well, I met Jinji through Bumble. I had just gotten out of a breakup at that point. Just like, he didn't even explain to me why he broke up with me. He just did. And out of desperation, I downloaded Bumble again and it started swiping. And I had one bad date, and then I gave up and just fucking swiped around on everyone and whatnot. Kept getting matches, and then from there I would assess the situation, because I was that defective. <laughs> and that's when I found Jinji. We talked about Pokemon a lot. I actually got really excited during work. It was when I was working at a grocery store. I would get excited whenever like I got a message on Bumble that said, You got a message. I'm like, oh my god, please tell me it's, uh, it's Gingy. And then I would be like, fuck, you're get out of here, fucking Andrew. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to that ginger man right there. And then from there on, we were talking. We went on a date. Some things happened. And I officially became in, in, in with each other in August of... Uh, August 15th, that's when we did it, it was uh, made it official. Uh, it's, we're almost up at three years right now, which is actually pretty good for me. <laughs> so, and then from there, we moved in with one another. Well, I moved in with him and he, as he was moving in with his parents again. And now we share a safe space and honestly, it feels pretty good over that. And then as for Heisen, I met him through Jinji. He was Jinji's roommate at the time. He's a nice guy and everything and whatnot. Any woman or man will be lucky to have him. <laughs> Honestly, he's pretty chill and whatnot. How long have you been in the Hasbro Hotel slash hell of a boss fan? Hasbro Hotel, I'm very much a, like a considered in the fandom a fake fan because I got into it during the pilot and then I watched the video about like the whole development of it and then they're like we're also releasing a pilot for hell of a boss I'm like oh I'll watch that while when we for more has been to come out it's pretty cool and then that's how that happened I've been a fan since the pilot drop technically are you going to ever join Heisen's gay clan or join twitch I don't know about Heisen's gay clan I don't know he had that <laughs> as for twitch probably not I don't see the point I can just stream my stuff here on YouTube, and it's very easy for me and all that, so I would probably just say no. Why would I do cross-platform shit when everything on here is working? I barely want to post on Instagram and, and Twitter half the time. Barely post on Instagram, barely post on Twitter, I barely use, like, I, uh, where you see me is on the Discord server. That's where I'm at. I'm in the simping channel. <laughs> do you have a Reddit, like, slash Phoenix group that we can post publicly to you? That'd be pretty cool if I got a Reddit. I technically do have a Reddit account. I could make a, like a slash R, like a R slash Phoenix group, which I don't know how that would be. I mean, I'll think about it in the future. I think I need a lot more people to do that stuff and whatnot, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Right now, everything, like if you want to like show anything off, like cool, we just do it on the Discord for right now. <laughs> what are some challenges you face in maintaining a regular posting schedule, life slash YouTube balance? So if, the only struggle I've been having so far is just like the Wattpad book club readings because I'm losing a lot more people because people just don't contact me anymore. Like they just like cut communication or I cut communication with them because like they're awful scheduling and time wasting. Like my whole thing, my big pet peeve is 
is time management because I like to be punctual to things because I feel like I'm disrespecting other people if I'm not on time for events, if that makes sense. Because I don't, like, they took the time out of their day to, like, meet me at this coffee shop at, at like, 4 o'clock. And if I'm late, then I'm wasting their time and whatnot. I don't want to make them feel like I'm wasting their time. So I'm always punctual and make sure I'm there all the time, like, on time for stuff. So when people don't show me the same respect, I think it's very disrespectful and whatnot. Wattpad book, just it, that's mainly been the issue right now. For gaming? Gaming's not, like, an issue. It's just, like, me and Karen, like, get into the mindset at, around the same time for some reason. We're, like, in sync. Not like the boy band, but, like, in sync. <laughs> so we just, like, sit down, like, right there on the bed. We'll pull up Pokemon or whatever game that we're playing. Uh, I don't know what we're playing now in the future. Right now, currently, it's Pokemon. So we'll just load up Pokemon. I'll throw up the mic probably, like, right here. And then throw on the headset, and then we'll just start recording, and then editing's pretty easy as well. Vox or Mr. Puzzles? You can only save one. I guess it's gonna have to be Vox, man. And why for your answer? Why does there have to be a why? Probably for, for Vox and whatnot. The reason why is because I guess I bonded with him longer, I guess. I haven't written a fanfiction for Mr. Puzzles, alright? I wrote one for Vox so far. That sounds really cool. Maybe I can write a fan fiction of Mr. Puzzle. Are you going to make a strand of Vox like I have for Val, Crimson, or Miguel? Probably. It's probably on screen somewhere. I probably made one at some point here. There it is. There it is. There's the shrine I made so far. There's everything Vox related that I have. <laughs> Are you able to name all the fictional characters you have a crush on? I, I did a whole tier list and everything where I took every, like, fictional character crush that I remembered having a crush on and like threw them in a tier list to see how bad of the choices I had. Here, here's, here's the, the list of them. Now you can see the problem I have. <laughs> Will you ever do VR? Probably not. VR is expensive. I don't have like an, I don't have any of the equipment nor any way of setting it up. Also, even if I have that equipment, I don't know how to set it up and Jinji doesn't like VR so I don't know how, like if he would know how to set it up anyway. Pro the probably answer is no. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> what made you come up with the idea of a phoenix? There was no thought process behind it. I, I guess that's a lie. There's some there's some lore I can drop right now. The whole Phoenix Flare character comes from an old OC that I made from like a book series that I half made like a while ago. The whole book series was called The Elements and each book would take like someone else's POV and it was a group of spies from Germany it was pretty cool and the whole setting of it was a modern universe mixed with fantasy elements so magic and elemental creatures exist and whatnot and humans can be born with magical powers almost like a My Hero Academia kind of thing where some of them are just like normal humans or other ones have like like cool like quirks and whatnot like some of them control fire some of them control water and whatnot whereas Phoenix Flare comes in their whole thing was their their they had the phoenix element, which is mixed between fire and sky and whatnot, making said element and whatnot. So that's where that character came from. She has her whole lore backstory of how I made her. And, like, from there, like, she like she has a bunch of abilities in one. She can show fire and, like, sky magic. She can turn into a phoenix, which is why the PNG tuber is a phoenix and whatnot. And there's a bunch, and there she has like a like a tail, like in her human form. She like just normal phoenix. She has very long reddish orange hair, one brown eye, one green eye, and she has like a phoenix tail and whatnot. So there's there's cool lore with her. Maybe I can do like a whole thing about that, but that's where the character phoenix player comes from. Do you think you'll ever do an upgrade on brand? I mean, I feel like I've upgraded a lot of things. I mean, there's probably still more shit I can upgrade, like my my comedy. <laughs> That's a, that could use a hey, that could use a big upgrade actually. I, mean, I feel like I update a lot since what this channel used to look like. I mean, I just stole the banner and my profile picture from like Google Images. The videos were dog shit and whatnot. So now, like, I feel like I breached that upgrade and whatnot. There's probably a lot more equipment and better stuff that I can do now and whatnot. So there's always room. There's always room for improvement. Any play with viewer lives? I mean, I did that, that like, um, 
I did that with Among Us and whatnot, and then it got a little annoying because people started going in there and hacking and ruining the game experience, so it made me not want to do that. Maybe if I want to do another one of, like, the play with viewers, I'll do that through Discord instead. That way we can at least target who the fuck is messing with my game, at least. That way it's more, like, inclusive. Less stream sniping, too, with those things as well. Chick-fil-A or Cracker Barrel? Definitely Cracker Barrel. I'm a I'm a I'm a slut for for uh, for breakfast food. Anything you can have breakfast whenever you want. They have breakfast at breakfast time. There's brunch, which is in between breakfast and lunch. People have breakfast for dinner. I you can do so much with breakfast, man. I say yes to breakfast all the time. You have to be in a certain mood for Chick Fil A anyway. I mean, I can have the Chick Fil A sauce any day I want, but like sometimes I don't want chicken. I just want the Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> Are you going to do merch in the future? I kind of want to and whatnot. Maybe one day I'll open up my uh, my own shop, which um, with the channel being upgraded now with like the memberships and super chats and whatnot, there's an option to add a shop, but I don't have any cool things. Mm -hmm. My sister does make shirts and whatnot, so if I ever want to and I can hire someone to make like a cool design for me and I can slap it on a shirt and whatnot, uh, that'd be pretty cool. I can have her make it and we can ship it out that way. That'd be pretty cool. But I definitely want, like, a P.O. box just in case we need to do returns. I don't want my address, <laughs> like, in, easily in people's hands, you know? Because there's some weirdos out there. What are you making for dinner? For dinner today, I had pasta with uh, Alfredo sauce and meatballs. Very good. <laughs> Would I start a P.O. box in the future? Probably, yeah. Uh, definitely need just more people because... Uh, I, that thing's gonna cost me money, and I at least need like, just some reimbursement that it's not gonna sit there empty, you know? So, if more people demand a P.O. box, I will open a P.O. box. Just please don't send me a pipe bomb. <laughs> please and thank you. P.O. box train? That would be pretty cool. If I get enough people to send me shit through a P.O. box, I will open them on camera, at least. So, that would be pretty cool. Would you ever do a video of you trying international or non-American food reviews? Me and Jolie were just talking about this yesterday, where they are gonna have me try... Uh, a bunch of um, <laughs> a bunch of Mexican candies at least, and like like or like Spanish con Spanish candies. So that'd be pretty. I would love to try this because uh, I mean I'm only really used to like Japanese candies and all that. I'm a dumb American, you know. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Do you ever want to travel? I mean I've traveled before. I usually go up and down the East Coast of the United States and whatnot because that's what I'm comfortable with. I've never been on a plane, so I've never gone into the country for any reason at all. I want to, but I'm s like, every like media thing makes flying seem like a pain in the ass, and I don't want to be part of it. But the furthest up I've gone is New Jersey. The furthest down I've been is to Florida. Do you ever think about traveling to meet old online fans in the future? I do want to meet Gummy face to face. The Astro Gummy. I really want to meet them face to face. I know what they look like. They have their own little thing going on and whatnot. I just want to like go to one of the conventions that they're vending at and finally meet them face to face and whatnot. I think it'd be really nice. And then we could finally like, like the duo would be back as we, all the shit that we've endured <laughs> together. That, that's the one old online friend that I would love to see face to face. Rate Miguel out of 10. Seven. What do you plan seeing the channel being at the end of the year? Like sub goals or content? Definitely the Wednesday slot is going to be full of stuff by that point at the end of the year. We'll do some, uh, so cool stuff. I mean, I'm de I definitely have some things planned because October is going to be fully, like, any live streams that I do in October are going to be spooky themed unless my friends need me to play a game. <laughs> at least the solo ones will be me doing spooky games and whatnot for the hol like, for that holiday area. I, w I definitely want to do more IRL content, so that's probably what's going to be at the end of the year. At least since I hit 500 so fast, I guess my goal for the end of this year was is probably gonna be like what like 700 or something. I feel like that's a realistic goal to get to. <laughs> How many more SNG4 plushies do you gotta collect? I actually have a spreadsheet. <laughs> I have a lot. I have um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. I have eleven SNG4 slash like glitch production plushies right now, and um. I, there's a lot more on the list because there's some older ones that um, that sold out a while ago. So um, there's a lot for me to get. <laughs> I don't know, like 15 more, I guess. F 15 plus. <laughs> Is there anything you wish to collect? 
there's two things. The official Vox standee from the uh, the Shark Robo website, which is so hard to find at a reasonable price. And then there's these keychains that Ashley Nicholson made of Alistair and Angel Dust. And I want the Angel Dust so bad. I found one that's for sale, but it's $250. So if you want to send it to me, please go to my P.O. box. <laughs> How many plushies do you have now? 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 plushies. <laughs> do you ever think you'll grow out of a fandom? Probably not. I've left the, especially with like this little fucker. Not the, the guy with the perp, the one, his boyfriend next to him. <laughs> I've, I've gone in and out of that fandom, but I started collecting things and that is, I'm never leaving that fandom. <laughs> that, that fandom is, is integrated in me now. Whole merch collection update? Yeah, I got some pictures, but I'll flash them on screen. Here's everything that I have up to date right now. The Moxie stuff is moved on to the floor, but... <laughs> what fandom do you think is the cringiest? My Hero Academia. Do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic the Hedgehog's pretty cool. I'm excited for the third movie that is coming out because it's gonna have Shadow the Hedgehog. And they made a lot of references to, to memes in the in the past two ones, like the Do You Know The Way one, and then the uh, the cringe drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog. It'd be pretty cool if they made it like the, I'm about to make an announcement of like the the Doctor and Men thing. It'd be pretty cool. I, don't, I doubt it, but a reference to the Sonic fan dubs would be pretty cool. What song is on repeat for you? It's a cliche answer, but it is Creative Control by SMG4. And Mr. Puzzle sings it, and it's beautiful. You cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> what is the total amount of money spent on merch? $11,000. What is your favorite Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared character? I love the yellow guy. He is so funny every time he comes up. He reminds me of me a little bit, because I'm a little slow to the conversation sometimes, so. He's, he's just a little guy. He deserves protecting. Have you ever watched an analog horror? I actually have, um, I'm trying to remember what the fuck it's called. The Walton Files. I think that's it. I've watched that. And it actually was pretty cool. It gives me a little bit of chills every once in a while. You kinda, you, it's one of those things you can constantly like rewatch and whatnot and you'll always find little tidbits that you didn't see before. Do you think you'll ever end any series you're doing on YouTube? The Busy Pop stuff is probably never going to end because it's probably like the once a month thing that I pull up uh, to the function. Wattpad Book Club will eventually end at some point. I don't know when. Maybe when I hit like 500 videos on that thing, I'll probably like cap it or at least like take a big break from it because... <sighs> so it's sometimes like reading the fan fiction is really fun and I'm having a lot of fun with it. But sometimes it can, it's almost a little repetitive at some point. So. Maybe at some point it will take a little bit of a hiatus. Probably not like end end. Maybe when I hit like a thousand videos on it, I'm like, that's it. Cut the, pu pull the cord. <laughs> We're done. And that was all the questions I was given. Mainly from Leslie. Thanks Leslie for helping me with this. <laughs> In all seriousness, thank you guys for all subscribing, watching the videos, liking the videos, all that shit. No matter if you're here for the whole like gaming content, fan fiction readings, busy pop related videos, some of the stupid shorts that I made, all that jazz, or any of the live streams, because we do a lot of stuff on this channel. <laughs> For any reason why you subscribe, thank you so much, and I hope I get to bring you more of that content coming forward. And with that, I guess I get to wrap up with a couple announcements of like, uh, I finally did open a membership. So if you're interested in getting videos early before they're officially published, you can join it. I think I made it $3 and there's only like one tier of it. So it's, it, it brings you all like the, the stuff of like, um, of all the perks. And then you have perks for live streams and all that stuff. So there's also super chats and super thanks. If you want to throw money my way, it would go back into me and the team for bringing you guys better and better and better content. So it pays their rent. <laughs> so basically, and then that's pretty much it. I, I This was a lot of fun to answer you guys' questions and whatnot. <laughs> Even though they were a little silly, it was fun nonetheless. But anyway, thank you guys again. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>